Um, I'm getting ready. We're going to hook up my little dump trailer, and uh, I'm going to run it off to the dump um, and kind of just put a few miles on the truck and see how it does. So uh, one thing that this started doing when I did its initial little test drive, the serpentine belt on is just squeaking like crazy now. Um, I've already ordered the parts to do the, the dual tensioner update that service bulletin that Ford put out. So it uh, looks like it'll probably be about two weeks before those parts get here. So uh, when they come in, I'll do another video. I'll make sure to record it this time. And uh, we'll kind of go through the, the steps of how we fix that. So, um, but for today, let's actually go out and enjoy this truck. So to give you an idea of what we're working with here, uh, this is the, the dump trailer I have. It's actually just a, a long bed off of a, a 92 F-250 I picked up and chopped and uh, turned it into a, a trailer. I actually ended up just needing it for the, the transmission and the engine. Actually, the engine out of this is the one I rebuilt and uh, put into the, the 94, which is now sitting in the garage. But um, basically just have... A bunch of like old carpets and cardboard and I think I have a scooter in there um, you know we redid the flooring in our house and so um, with the trailer plus what's in it probably pretty close to about 2,000 pounds total so um, I've towed this trailer before with a fair amount of dirt and rock and other stuff in it and with the 460, it would kind of struggle going up this hill. So I'm going to go up that same hill today, and uh, I want to see how it does. Uh, basically, just going to leave the truck in the, uh, well, 1023 has a, a tune called Daily Driver Light, which is like their eco mode. Um, so I'm going to actually just leave it in that tune and tow this because uh, even the light tow is good up to like 5,000 pounds. So I really don't need to do it. I don't think it's going to stress the truck out. So, um I'll kind of just give you guys like a driver's perspective of uh, what it's like driving it. This squeak is going to drive me absolutely crazy. All right, so I'm hoping you can kind of see the gauges and all that. I don't really know how well this is going to turn out in the video. Um, just to kind of give you an idea, I, I put my my little control for the the tuner down here i'm not happy with it at all um, and i just found out riffraff sells a longer ribbon cable so i'm going to end up mounting it right up here and i think the flush mount that they have will fit through there so then what i can do is just cut this open put it right here and then have it all clean and flush and tuck behind and then i'll actually be able to see it while i'm driving so um my my tunes here well we'll, we'll start here with number one number one is no start so being in this mode it'll just crank it'll never fire but once you have the engine running and you put it back to that mode it puts it to whatever the last calibration file was so then i have number two which is the high idle so you can see my my rpms jumped up to 1100 number three is quiet idle number four is um what they call daily driver which is basically their tuning of taking those 205 cc injectors and making them run as if they were the stock 90 cc injectors so here's what that one sounds like you can hear the idle change okay number five is my eco mode so it's really not a whole bunch difference number six is the street shredder tune number seven is the Cum uh, cummins killer Eight is ludicrous mode, so we'll play with those three tunes on this drive. Nine is the light toe. Ten is medium toe. And eleven is their heavy toe file. And uh, talking with Dusty, he was saying, you know, depending on the health of the transmission, I should be able to tow about 8,000, uh, excuse me, 18,000 pounds. So I'm going to put it back here into the eco mode. And... We'll take this for a little drive. So now my ABS light is still on because I haven't done anything at all yet to even try and fix that. So the takeoff power on this 
like your initial stepping on the throttle is uh, way way more aggressive than it ever was with a stock power stroke and even with the gas engine in it um, it's actually been kind of like learning to drive again with mean real light throttle input so uh, like I say I've only driven it around the block I got it up to about 40 miles an hour or 45 I think is what I did and mainly like I say just to kind of get it warmed up so I could check the transmission fluid and uh, try and get the rest of the air bled out of the H-pop system. So one thing I, I think I am going to have an issue with and I'm really kind of curious to see how it plays out because I, I haven't been able to find a lot of information on it. I don't know what the boost output of this turbo is and I don't know at what boost point my check engine light's going to turn on. A uh, little bit of the, the research I did, it looks like when it hits 26 pounds of boost, it'll go into an overboost protection mode where it starts defueling the engine. Um, I don't know if this turbo puts out that much pressure, so I'm going to kind of test it when we're on the freeway and uh, see what my, my boost does. Already, my impression on this seat is I'm in love. <laughs> uh, the other seat that I had, uh, it was it was kind of I don't know. I guess plush would be a good word for it. It was real, real bouncy. Um, but I think mainly because it didn't have any contour to it. They they put a lot of spring into it, and that kind of allowed for some comfort. But this seat actually feels like it fits my back. It has the lumbar in it, which is really comfortable. The foam in it is very firm, being that we took it out of a passenger seat. And it feels like it sits quite a bit taller, too. Um, I, I already had to readjust my mirrors because I, I feel like I'm sitting about two inches taller. So that's kind of kind of good. So I'm going to see, maybe you guys can see in the mirror, we'll see how much smoke we get with this in the eco mode. So it was actually really clean. I had very little smoke coming out of it. That was about a quarter, maybe just in between a quarter and half throttle. Um, speed limit through here is actually 35. We're doing just a touch over that. So, um, you know, I really don't want to get on it too crazy. And then with having a, looks like a brand new white car behind me, I don't want to be that guy that if it does blow smoke, I get slid all over this guy's car. I do have a funny feeling with this in ludicrous mode, it's going to smoke a lot. Uh, just kind of trying it in the driveway and revving the engine, it was puffing some smoke out even with no load on it. So, really curious to see what it does when we get it rolling. So, just cruising along 40 miles an hour. Uh, I can tell the truck is still in third gear, it hasn't actually hit fourth yet. We're only doing about 1800 RPMs. My EGTs are right about 475 degrees, so really not very, uh, very hot burn. So it tells me that it's running a very, very lean tune, which should hopefully help quite a bit with the fuel mileage. The boost gauge is only reading about one or two pounds, so uh, this engine is not working at all. It's not not under any stress, which is really surprising for the weight of the, the trailer So I'm gonna put some throttle down because it is 45 here Wow, so yeah huge difference in power just right off of that because that was just me lightly pushing on the throttle Then it jumped from 40 to 50. I saw it go to about 14 pounds of boost my EGTs jumped to about 750 and again no smoke out of it so really happy with this tune it actually it's 
probably going to be like my all around, uh, you know, my, my, I guess, <laughs> I guess it's a good name, daily driver tune. All right, so we're going to get on a kind of hard takeoff here. Yeah, so holy smokes. So, <laughs> Uh, I, I did get a little bit more smoke on that. That was uh, that was about a half to three quarter throttle takeoff, and it actually broke the tires loose. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna get on it here pretty hard. So there's wide open throttle. We do have some smoke coming out of it. Oh yeah, and I I don't know if you heard it kind of hiccup there, but uh, I did kick the check engine light on, and when I looked over at the boost gauge. It was at 35 pounds of boost. So uh, I guess that answers that question of how much boost does this put out? So I'm uh, probably gonna have to get a, uh, I, I know it's on the internet it's called a boost fooler. I absolutely hate that name. Uh, that it sounds like a fake made up name to me. Um, I've always heard of an over boost control valve. I know Riff Raff calls it an OCR. So uh, I'm gonna have to look into doing that because if this is gonna start, basically what happens when this goes into an overboost protection mode, it cuts the fueling at the PCM and it tells the IDM to, to basically cut back the fuel quantity on the injectors to, to get the boost out of the turbo. So it completely changes what 1023's tuning is trying to do. So this may have the potential of putting out quite a bit more boost, but the ECM won't let it. So for now, uh, I'm gonna just kind of have to baby it until we can get that, that uh, relief valve. But the initial power uh, kind of got sidetracked with, uh, with it hitting that, that boost protection going down the on-ramp. That on-ramp, um, several times with this truck before, I would just hammer the throttle as hard as I could, banging gears going down the on-ramp, and I could get to about 75 miles an hour by the time I hit the end of that on-ramp. This time, with this trailer behind me, and basically having the power cut off for me, I still ended up doing 70, just a little bit past the halfway mark on that on-ramp. So, uh, the power output is night and day difference, and again, we're still in the economy mode. There's three power stages above this that give us the ability for more power. So this is the hill I was talking about. So I'm gonna set my cruise here to 70, well, I don't wanna do 70 with the trailer. So I'm gonna set it here at 65 miles an hour. So my EGTs right now are about 950 degrees and I'm running about 11 pounds of boost. So before, this truck could not pull this hill with a load on it in fifth gear. They would have to downshift and it would struggle to do about 60, sometimes 55, depending on the weight. So uh, I, I can tell the engine is under a little bit of load, but we're still in overdrive, it's still in fourth gear. The speedometer hasn't tapered at all. I'm running 14 pounds of boost and my EGTs are hanging right at 1100. So, uh, a huge, huge improvement on, on that aspect of it. And I, I can already hear the engines coming out of its, uh, out of its load. The boost dropped back down, we're at uh, about nine pounds of boost right now. My EGTs are dropping back down. I actually saw the, the highest EGT was at 1,050 degrees. And uh, the transmission temp didn't even really get above 140, so it's like the truck didn't even have to do anything going up that hill. It's amazing. I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy with how this is running. So pretty much at this point, even if my fuel mileage stays the same as it was with that 460, which was about 10 miles to the gallon, uh, the, the power output of this thing completely justifies it. So, I, yeah, with that 460, like I say, it would struggle going up that hill and it would get terrible fuel mileage doing it. So it was kind of not really good all the way around. 
luckily those trucks have a lot of reliability so I mean that's always a benefit so I'm gonna be going down a street here in uh, just a little bit that it's a little bit more of an industrial street there's not very many people on it and it's kind of a long straight stretch so I think what I'll do is I'll start kind of messing with these other uh, power tunes my, my check engine light already shut off so it tells me that it it quit telling the ECM to defuel so uh, we should should be able to have a little bit of play time here now, obviously I'm not gonna be able to romp on it too hard I'm gonna have to watch that boost gauge so it doesn't cut out but uh, should be able to get a little bit of an idea of what it feels like anyway I can tell I got some weight behind me because stopping right there, uh, you know, it's a real slight little downgrade, but I could definitely feel the trailer pushing the truck. So again, this is a, about a half throttle takeoff with it in eco mode. And I'm running right about 13 to 14 pounds of boost. And that, you know, feels really good actually. <laughs> it feels like it's got a, a bunch of power in the eco mode. So we'll do this. We're going to put it here to the, uh, the street shredder tune. And I'm going to kind of just pull over on the side street up here and let some of these cars go by. Because so I do have one car that came up behind me. Actually, I'm gonna just stop right here in the median. I know it's illegal, but don't judge me. Okay, so from a dead stop, let's see what we see in the mirror. I'm gonna just kind of half throttle this so I don't have it going to overboost protection again. Holy cow, yeah, so that was half throttle. Little bit of smoke, not, not too major. Uh, watching the boost gauge, it was hanging out right about 25 pounds of boost. And that, uh, it actually broke the tires loose twice. It, it did when I initially tipped into it, and then when it hit second gear, it did it again. Um, and that was up to 50 miles an hour on that little little run there. So we'll do this again. Right now I have it in the Cummins Killer tune. And we'll do that same, same throttle input, same little run again here. Oh, a lot more smoke. There's 30 pounds of boost. And that's... 50 holy cow and we got a big old uh vent when i let off of the throttle there so yeah clearly runs a lot more a lot more fuel through that tune um but again the power feels pretty solid so now i have it in the uh the ludicrous tune we'll do the same thing here we'll uh we'll see what it's like and i feel bad i got someone walking down the street here so hopefully i don't smoke them out Holy cow, I'm smoking the tires like crazy. Yeah, uh, that that's definitely a ludicrous tune. <laughs> uh, I had to back out of it there. It was spinning the tires so freaking hard. Oh man, we'll, we'll, we'll have to stop on the way back. Uh, there is two giant black marks in the street where I was just roasting the tires. <laughs> I did see the boost gauge was hanging out about 32 PSI. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't watching the EGT gauge. Lots of smoke, lots and lots and lots of power. That was pretty much a burnout all the way through uh, to third gear. I backed out of the throttle when it hit third gear just <laughs> because I'm not about killing this truck. Um, the transmission in it, I mean, it does have a shift kit. It does have uh, a billet torque converter in it but I don't know anything at all about the rest of the internals and I, I really don't want to go blowing pieces out of it. Uh, obviously, I got another check engine light because it, it way over boosted on that one. And that was at half throttle. <laughs> so uh, I'm really curious to see what this thing's gonna be like when I can get that over boost control valve and uh, actually be able to put my foot into it to see what it does, but that that is just insane i think ludicrous is the perfect name for that tune 
Uh, good job, Dusty and the rest of the guys at 1023. Uh, this truck is going to get me in a lot of trouble. I, I can already tell I'm going to be driving this thing like a complete idiot. Well, not all the time, you know, but when I want to go and try and dust off a Mustang or something, I, I, I don't even know if it's that fast, but, you know, a lot of it is traction. I, I think I'm going to have a huge lack of traction issue. Um, clearly don't think I'm going to have an issue towing anything. And... Uh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to afford to keep fueling this because I, I want to make this my daily driver for everything and get rid of my other car. Holy cow, that's just absolutely crazy. It, my engine isn't overheating. It's actually running super cool right now. My AGTs are right in check. The transmission's hanging out about 155, 160 degrees. So just, I, I couldn't be happier with how this came out and like i say everything has been working uh i was a little bit concerned about doing the dash harness what kind of issues i was going to have with that and uh everything works the cruise control works the lights the ac the radio backup camera everything i i, I don't have any gauge issues just everything is working like a champ so i i just super stoked with it i mean obviously the belt squeak is driving me nuts right now but um, you know i got parts coming to fix that i do still have a couple little things i'm going to tidy up on this um I, I haven't done the cross member yet i'm still i need to install one bolt for the transmission cross member and then i need to remove the four bolts that are still just sitting in the frame from the manual transmission cross member but again to do that i got to lift the cab up to to get those bolts out and then I have a few little things here and there I, I kind of want to do. Um, one of the big things that I want to try and do next uh, when, when I have time is I want to do the reverse shackle kit. Uh, one thing I, I did notice, this truck now sits about, I don't know, probably two inches lower in the front end than it did with the 460, which I didn't think this engine was that much heavier than the 460 was, but obviously it is. So it does have a pretty bad rake. The front end is sitting down pretty low. So um, that's going to be on the, the list of things I want to get done. And I want to do a couple aesthetic things to it to try and make the truck look a little bit better. So holy cow, I'm going to be here for a while waiting in this line. So um, I'm actually going to call this uh, video quits. I, I think uh, we got a really good episode ending here. And uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I'll, I'll keep doing little updates here and there of progress on the truck and things that we do and things that we change. So um, I hope you guys stay tuned into to the channel. I, I hope you like this first little mini series that we did and uh, I'm looking forward to doing a bit more. So again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, and uh, I hope you guys tune in for the next one.